Hello, I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News update. A six resident at the Pleasant View Nursing Home in Carroll County has died from COVID-19. The man was in his 80s and suffered from an underlying medical condition. A supervisor with the Investigative Services Bureau of the Harford County Sheriff's Office has also tested positive along with 17 people within the State Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services. Three are inmates, the rest are contract staff, correctional officers and employees with the Division of Parole and Probation. The cases are spread out throughout Jessup, Baltimore, Hagerstown, throughout the region. And with all of this difficult news about the virus, there are some positive updates. Nearly 21,000 people have tested negative for COVID-19 in our state. 159 people have also been released from isolation after contracting the virus. There is now a drop off site for donations for face masks, gloves and respirators for healthcare workers. It's at the Ellicott City Seventh Day Adventist Church in Howard County. This is one of the four regional sites in the state collecting safety and cleaning products. And it's also collecting non-perishable foods to help people in need. There are people that they're losing their jobs or they're losing or cutting hours from their jobs and uh, they really need uh, whatever assistance we can give to them at this time. You know, we are helping people as, as much as we can in, in any way we can as well. The church is open for donations from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and on the weekends from 8 until 5. Well, Easter egg hunts may be canceled this year, but parades certainly aren't. Check out the fire trucks and ambulances that drove through this Cockeysville neighborhood Friday near Paper Mill and Ashland Roads. Kids there also got to see the Easter Bunny on one of the trucks. The vehicles you saw here are all from the Cockeysville Fire Department in Baltimore County. More clouds for your Saturday. We will track numbers that are going to be a little bit warmer. We'll be in the upper 40s to start today. 58 degrees by lunchtime, and we're going to see a few rays of sunshine as we head into the evening. Temperatures hovering in the 60s for a large chunk of the afternoon. I think our daytime high will get to 64 in the city, 60 in Columbia to Annapolis. We're talking about upper 50s from Parkton, Bel Air, and into the Essex area. Seven-day forecast shows a warmer trend for the weekend, up to 66 degrees for Sunday. A stray shower not out of the question, but mainly dry and staying that way for your Monday. Daytime highs warming into the 70s, but you'll need the umbrella as we push towards the middle of the week. Rain chances lingering through Thursday, breezy and cooler numbers filtering in by next Friday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on our top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. You can check out our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR 2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.